Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try What's Going On. That's your intro. E major 7, we're going to bar the top three strings at the 4th fret, 4th string 6th fret, 5th string 7th fret. Okay, I'm going to mute the 6th string. The way I mute it is the pinky's kind of leaning into it, maybe this middle finger's touching it, any way you can. You can let it ring, but then you don't get all the chickas and stuff. It gets kind of muddy under there, you know? So, anyway, that's your intro. You do that chord four times. Let's talk about the strum pattern. This is the strum pattern for the entire song. There's only one measure in the song where we're kind of doing something a little different. So, so here we go. So the strum, I'm going to slow it down. Down, down, down. Least pressure in between sometimes, so I go. Okay? So you can do stuff like that while you're playing. So a little faster is down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. You can say that, you could play it, okay? So work on saying it if you're having trouble with it. And uh, slow it down, best advice. Alright, the verse E major 7 for 2. This is the mother, mother part. C sharp minor 7. That's your verse. Let's go over the chords. You know the E major 7, it's the first chord, and it's, it's in the intro. Uh, the nice thing about that chord is when you go into the C sharp minor 7, you've got everything you need uh, ready. You just lift up your pinky and put your middle finger down on the second string, 5th fret, that's a C sharp minor 7. So, if you didn't catch on to that, uh, you bar the 4th fret, not the 6th string. I stick my finger right into it there, tip of it. And then the second string fifth fret and the fourth string sixth fret. That's a C sharp minor seven. Okay. Uh, so what we do in the verse is we're going to do the E major seven for two strums, C sharp minor seven for two strums. Then we're going to repeat that E major seven, C sharp minor seven for two. Now we're going to go to the second fret. I'm going to borrow the whole 2nd fret and the 4th, uh, I'm sorry, the 5th string 4th fret. That's an F sharp minor 7. Two patterns on that. Now if you don't like that one, you could, you could just move that C sharp minor 7 up to the 9th fret, just the way it is. If you like that one better, that's fine. I like that big sound down here. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, I'm not quite sure. There's two different ways you could play it. The way that I played it, we'll go over that one first. I'll show you an alternative way you could play it if you if you dig that. So uh, what I do is I bar uh, the second fret, the top five strings. I'm calling this an F sharp minor seven slash B. So it's an F sharp minor seven, but I'm putting B in the bass, okay? And I'm doing that for one pattern. Okay. Then I'm going to go to a B13, 5th uh, string 2nd fret, 4th string 1st fret. I'm going to lay my 3rd finger down on the 3, 2, and 1 strings at the 2nd fret, and then my pinky is going to go out to the 1st string 4th fret. Okay, that's a difficult one to get to really quickly, uh, but uh, sorry, that's the way it is. So that little part in the song is... Now, if you don't like that sound, if you'd rather do this, uh, for those two measures in the song, you could go to an A chord with B in the bass, and then the B13 like this, but it's, it's, it's pretty hard too, you have to be flexible. So the A slash B would be 5th uh, string, uh, sorry, 2nd string 5th fret, 3rd uh, string 6th fret, I'm going to put my pinky on the 4th string 7th fret, my third finger is going to go on the 6th string 7th um, fret. That's going to be an A slash B. 
Now I'll play it both ways, the verse, so you can see the difference. So I'm going to do one pattern on that. And now here comes your difficulty. If you thought this chord was hard, where do you get to this one? So I'm going to leave these three fingers right where they are. So I got the 6th string, 7th fret, the 4th string, 7th fret, the 3rd string, 6th fret. My first finger now is going to reach back and bar the top two strings at the 4th fret. It's a beautiful chord. It's B13. But, um, you know, it's, it's very difficult. So what are you going to do? Okay, so those are two different ways you could play the end of that verse. So let me uh, let me go over the verse again. I'm gonna play it. Uh, pull it play it two different ways. So here's an E major seven. This is the mother mother part. There's too many of you crying. C sharp minor seven. And then E major seven. Brother brother brother. C sharp minor seven again. Now the F sharp minor seven. See if you like that better. E major seven. C sharp minor seven. Want to repeat that? F sharp minor seven. Coming up. It's time to go. Okay. So I went to the. A slash B. To the B13 this way. Okay? So I dig that too. So either way I'll do that. that that'll get you the verse. Then in the song, uh, you repeat the verse. So you just repeat that. Now you're on the picket signs part. That's an F sharp minor 7. To the F sharp minor 7 with the B in the bass. F sharp minor 7. screwed up the rhythm there because I was trying to talk at the same time. Let me play that, uh, let me play the picket signs part again without yakking. Much better. All right, so that one measure is the problem. So let's talk about that right away. F sharp minor seven with B in the bass. You're going to do the same strum you've been doing, but you're going to break it up between two chords. So you're going to do the, uh, the first chord is down, 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 and then when you go to do the up, you do the B13, and then up, down, 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 up. So your strum is still down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, but I'm going. Very difficult. Okay? But you can do it. Uh, so, that, the pre-chorus is an F sharp minor 7 for one pattern, and then you just put that B in the bass, F sharp minor 7 again, and then the B in the bass, F sharp minor 7 again, and then here comes our... Okay? So that's your picket signs part, that's the pre-chorus. Okay? Now, Anytime you have the F sharp minor 7 with the B in the bass, you could play an A with a B in the bass. So if you like that sound better, you could do this section like this, the picket sign part. Uh, F sharp minor 7 to the A with the B in the bass. F sharp minor 7 with the A with the B in the bass. Again. Or you could go. That's even better. So that measure that was such a problem, it's a little easier if you can get that. So uh, let me play that one one more time. F sharp minor 7. So that's actually really nice. That works. Okay? All right, this part, it's just tricky, the rhythm. Um, this is the chorus. You got E major 7, right to the C sharp minor 7. And then the E major 7, C sharp minor 7, and then the A minor 9. It's 5, 6, 7. He's scatting.
it's an E major 7 for one pattern. This part's a little tricky because in the verse we did two patterns on these chords, but this time they're tighter. So it's E major 7 for one. What's going on? Uh, C sharp minor 7. I'll tell you what's going on in E major 7. To the C sharp minor 7. Then you go to that A minor 9, which is a chord we haven't talked about yet. A couple different ways you could play it. Uh, one way you could play it, a lot of you would like to bar the fifth fret, the top four strings. Uh, I'm going to mute the fifth string with the tip of my finger. My thumb could grab the sixth string um, fifth fret, and then my pinky or whatever could go on to the first string seventh fret. That isn't the way I just played it, but that's the way most people will probably grab it. So that's an A minor 9. The other way to play that A minor 9 is the way I was playing it. I barred, um, instead of my first finger, I used my third finger on those four strings at the fifth fret. And my middle finger came over the top on the sixth string fifth fret. That way I automatically mute that fifth string. And then my pinky went out to the first string uh, seventh fret. I'm just more used to playing it that way. So that's why it's just quicker for me to grab that way. Either way works. It doesn't really matter. Okay? So now you've got everything you need. Um, the form of the song, you get your intro, then the verse, then you repeat a, another verse, then a pre-chorus, a chorus. Then you go back and you do another verse, a pre-chorus, a chorus, and then you have your outro. Your outro is just a, you go back to that A main minor 9. So uh, here, let me attempt, I'll attempt to play the whole thing. Uh, good luck to me, I don't know. Hey, e, ma e major 7.